Hello and welcome to the seventh Learn LaTeX tutorial. And in this one, we are going to try and draw some two-dimensional images. And this is going to help us with our with our math. So, if you remember from last time, we had we're using the math environment to set up some lines. Yeah, nice. But uh, this time, we're going to delete all of that. And let's recompile so we can see how it looks. There we have it. All right. So we're going to use a package called Tix, and so in the beginning, we're going to use use package package, T I K Z, and Shalatek already has this built in, so it's pretty easy um, to use. Just write use package, and so if we go down to our introduction, we will start out by making a new picture, and as you remember, write begin. But then we won't write figure, or we won't write, write table or equation as we've done before. We will write text picture, picture. So T I K set P I C T U R E picture. And let's end that already. Copy right, paste. And let's recompile. And we will just recompile a couple of times just to make sure we don't get any errors or something before we start drawing. So right now we don't have anything, but I kind of want to have a grid where I can see my two-dimensional image. So, so I write draw, and then I write what I want to draw. Um, I kind of want to make a grid, so therefore uh, I need to figure out first what are the options I want to put into it and how big is it going to be. So I'll leave the, leave the options box that's uh, square brackets alone right now. Then I'll write I want a grid from minus one, <coughs> no, minus one point minus one. And I want it until some number. I want the, it's supposed to be a grid, and it's supposed to be until 5.5, for example. And we will have, have, have a six, six grid. And there we have it. A six times six grid. Pretty simple. It's centered to the right. I want it in the center. It's also complaining. Um, yeah, I kind of want a semicolon. This is more programming than we have done before because we need semicolons to end our lines. But don't worry, it's still pretty simple. Let's write begin, center if I can spell it. And let's end center. Yeah, I can't spell it. All right, let's put the draw in there. And right now we have a pretty good grid. It's, well, colored, not colored, like, yeah. Um, Okay, let's try to move these outside. I don't know why it's complaining, it doesn't used to. Um, let's see. Yeah, yeah that's better. better. Okay, we will have the cinders outside. Weird. Uh, let's move it in there. Okay, let's put some inserts. It's easier to figure out. Um, good. One second, there we go. Okay, so we want these grits. I want them thick, so I can see them. And then I want to specify my color. And I kind of want a gray color, because that's easy to see too. And I want them to be stepped with uh, one centimeter between each. This is also what it is now. I just want to specify it. So later on, if I need to change it, then it's easier to change. But I don't want a completely grid like that. I want it dashed, because that's better. At least I think so. Um, then it's easier to see what's actually lines and what is part of the grid. So, so, so this grid is, I like it much more. Um, what we also need is we kind of need some lines we can draw so we can see where the axes are. Therefore, we say draw again. And in the options, I want them red because no, no, wait, I don't want them red. Um, I want it to be a line like this with an arrow in there. Uh, and I'll just keep them black. I don't know why I said grid. Um, and even though we have a grid from minus one to five, I would like the axes, axes, I don't know, to be a little bit longer, so you can actually see the arrow in then. So I want them from one to minus two point zero, and I want them until six point zero, like this. Um, um, and if we just compile now, we should see a normal arrow as you can see here we have an arrow uh, we can zoom in a little bit 
As you can see, it has a little arrowhead. Nice. And again, it's complaining we forgot our semicolons. I'm sorry. Okay. But what it all, what we also want to do is we want to put an X there, so we can see that's the x-axis. So we write node because a new node is kind of our how we set a label. That node we want to on the right side because if we go down here, this is kind of our center where the arrow head ends, and we can then put it on the right or to the left or to the left above or to the left below or to the right above or right below, and I. I kind of just want it below to the right because then it will be down here and it will be easy to see. So let's write this and then we can write what we actually want in the node. And in the node we want an X. So let's try and recompile this. Complaining again. Possibly empty label. Okay. okay. This is supposed to be curly brackets, not normal brackets. Let's see. Yep. Much better. And, and you, and you have, have a nice X there. The problem with the, this X is that it's ugly. That's just how it is. So I want it to be a math X because if we put it in a math environment, it will look much better. As you can see, much better X. So let's also try and draw the Y axis. It's going to be an arrow again. Um, this time it's going to be from 0 point minus 2, minus two. until 0 0.6 and the node this time I just want the node like I don't know to the left I guess but I don't want it left I don't want below or above we just do this do this and let's do math environment y close it off and recompile there we go. I'll just move this a little bit so we can get it bigger. I can move it actually a little bit more. There we go. Okay, so as you can see, we have a pretty good coordinate system. Um, the one line here looks a bit weird because we forgot to write two, two there. Okay. <laughs> and now I want to specify some coordinates because I want some lines so we can actually see where these vectors are running or whatever. It doesn't have to be vectors, but you can do something else. Um, but I want some coordinates. And so I write coordinate, and I want to call this A, and I want to be placed at 1.2, and I want another coordinate, and I want to call it B, and I want to be placed at I don't know 2.4. Um, okay, so so when we have these coordinates, we want to draw them. Like right now, they're nothing. Uh, if we compile, you can see, well. 1.2 is there and 2.4 is there, but they're not here. We haven't drawn them. So what we want to, what we want to do is draw and then we want to do something with them. So I kind of want to draw a blue dot. So, so we can say okay. fill because I want it to be filled up. I don't want to just be in a circle. I can say blue. Blue there. Um, and I want it, the A to be filled up and I want it to be a circle. And I want it to be two points thick. And then I want actually also to have the name there. I want it on the right side. And uh, let's say A. And then we can just put the coordinate in. That should do it. Let's see if right actually works. It looks okay. Um, I guess maybe below right would be better. Let's try it out, try it out. <laughs> yeah. That looks better. All right, so let's try and, uh, and draw the other one. Let's say fill blue. Let's choose B. Again, a circle. Um, say two point node. Let's see how do we want this to the left, I guess, since the line goes up here. Let's put it here to the left. Let's say above. Say above left. B 2.4 close it off and recompile. All right, I forgot to write B there. And here we have actually two nice dots. Um, but I kind of want a line between them, so let's wait to draw. 
And this one, yeah, let's make this one red. And I want a thick line. And I want the line between A, oh, to B, semicolon. And let's see if it actually wants to draw that, and it does. And as you can see, we now have a good line. Um, the line seems to go above the dots. So maybe you want the line that's below the dots. And this is standard kind of like programming grammar. If we just move this one, oh, we can't actually. It, or, there we go. Let's draw that before we draw the dots. See if it can actually jump below the dots. See? Much better. Now it's actually below the dots. So, um, I want another line already, just because. Uh, no, wait. We don't. We don't have any more coordinates. Let's draw some more coordinates. I can't spell coordinates. There we go. I want C, C, and I want it at something like zero point four. I want a coordinate D at I don't know five point two. Um, yeah. Let's try that. Let's draw the line between them, between them. Um, let's make this another color. Uh, let's try green. And let's try and make this one thin. Let's make it between C and D. Okay. Let's see what happens. All right. As you can see here, we have a thin, thin green line. Uh, that green color is not good. I'll make it black instead. And I'll also make it thick. It's better. Um, so now in the end I kind of want just to have the, the actual dots so we can see where they are. So let's say draw, fill, let's call them blue again. I want a C, I want a circle, I want it two points, point thick. I want the node to be... If it's number C then it's 0 0.4 then it's here. So I want it uh, Below the left, and I want C. I want zero point four, and let's see how it goes. And there we have it. Um, looks good. Good. I'll just copy paste this because I'm lazy. Uh, let's say D, and D is supposed to be at five two. But this should be right above instead. So above and right. All right. Okay, this looks pretty good. Now we have a basic simple coordinate system. Um, we might want to mark where we actually have the middle, middle, uh, or the intersection. Let's say a coordinate. Let's call this one E. And put it at. Um, Intersection here is at 1.65, uh, 1.35, approximately. I didn't really calculate this that much, so yeah, let's see how it goes. Um, and for this, I don't know. Let's say fill. I guess we I guess we're green here. Oh, let's try something else. Let's try orange. Let's have at E. What about a square? I haven't tried square actually. Let's see if it works. And the node, I think I want it like here, so right above. Let's see E at, at whatever it says up here. And let's try and recompile it. All right. See, it didn't like the square. Let's just make a circle. All right. Better, better, better. There we go. Ah, uh, yeah. It's not really placed the correct place, but whatever. Um, the button might, might be a bit wrong. Let's try just to say it to the right. Yeah, that's a little bit better.
Okay, so that's how we make a simple uh, coordinate system. Um, basically, fill in your coordinates and draw the light between them, lines between them. Um, you could also do something like uh, with the line. Where did we draw the line? Draw the line here. You can also make it dashed if you want to do that. Just to have line. a dashed line. Um, okay, so that's the two D coordinate system. Uh, let's try and work with some three D next time. So just try this out, work it, see how it fun functions for you, and see ya.